Hi and welcome to today's show, Change the Colour. I'm your host Clara and as always we have a jam-packed show. Here's what is happening today. We will have an interview with two local tattoo artists from Carlo, a look at what is going on in the George Bernard Shaw Theatre and we will also have music from Keenan Kern, a member of the Music Society. But first, here is a clip of some of the art from around the college and people's opinion of them. has kind of it motivates people when they see it. two local tattoo artists, Lisa and Dara, and Dara will be putting ink on Justina's wrist using a stencil. So would you like to explain the process? Yeah, no problem. First of all, he'll take a, an antiseptic wipe and apply it to the skin. It's just, it's disinfecting the area and making sure there's no bacteria. Then he'll take some Dettol on a swab, mm -hmm. rub the skin and stick the stencil on. It's as simple as that. And that's it? That's it. Oh, that's a really simple process then. Yeah. The hardest part is tattooing the actual stencil, but oh yeah, I suppose. it's a longer and maybe process. the design as well. Yeah, the design picking out the design is it's a, it's the major factor in it. Yeah, you know? I suppose you, you'd have to be very creative though doing this, wouldn't you, with, when you're designing tattoos? Yeah, well, people sometimes just come to you with a, a brief idea, so oh. you have to elaborate on it and work on put that your then. own art. Yeah. Artsy side too, with like you know. Yeah, you really enjoy it then. Yeah. Was it something that you <coughs> always knew that you wanted to get into? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of did. Like I had other options, but I always stuck back to the tattoos. Like my friend had his own establishment, and he took me under his wing from there. So oh. I had an easy kind of route yeah, compared to a lot of artists. But and otherwise, like if he if he didn't help you out, how would you have went about getting into doing tattoos? Like I would have had to go and put together a massive portfolio. Like whereas I didn't, I maybe half the portfolio I would have had to do. I I placed in for myself. Like. Okay, but, yeah, and how many years would you be training for then? You're looking at about three years, maybe four. Really? It, you could be more even, it, doesn't, it depends on yourself and how you develop mm. as a tattoo artist, you know? Yeah, so I'd say then like you've met many different types of people and have had like many different types of experiences. Yeah. Have you had many weird tattoos that you had to do and if so, like was it on any whereabouts in the body was it? Um, yeah, I had a guy come in to me requesting an elephant, but he wanted the elephant to have a natural trunk, so it was on his lower stomach region. Oh, I so. see. I see. So uh, that would be pretty sore then, would it? Yeah, he, he let out a few squeals, but it yeah, was all good. You know? yeah, he yeah, got yeah. through it. Yeah, and everyone coming into you, would they be very nervous or would they be okay? You get people that are nervous, you get people that are fine. It yeah. just depends on the person. Everybody's different. It's like every tattoo is different, you know? Yeah, exactly. And how would maybe like you calm them down if they're really nervous or you just talk them completely through the process of what's gonna happen to them. Yeah. What's what's gonna go on, like, you know, how the ink is gonna take to your skin and the needles and stuff and like that. And like the aftercare then is yeah, that like you get yeah. a sheet then for aftercare and you have to go through that at the end. So it's pretty simple. It's a good job, you know. It's yeah. enjoyable, you yeah, know. Yeah, you like it. Well that's yeah. the main thing, like that is the main thing. Definitely. Then. So that's it done there. It looks really well. It's a really, uh, you're very skilled, like it's a very impressive work I have to say, like Thanks. it must take a lot of time then as well. Time and effort. Yeah, but I'd like to thank you though for taking the time out uh, to come in and speak to us today. It's no problem at all. Thank you so My much. My pleasure. On next week's show, we will be visiting the George Bernard Shaw Theatre to take a look at the Edifice Complex exhibition by Tyke McSweeney. 
This exhibition will comprise of sculpture works made from found, recycled and discarded materials. We will also have a sneak preview of the up-and-coming Lambert Puppet Theatre Cinderella puppetry. So uh, winding up the show now, we're going to have Keenan Kern, who's a member of the Music Society, who's going to play out a song for us. I've been trying to do it right I've been living a lonely life I've been sleeping here instead I've been sleeping in my bed Sleeping in my bed So show me family All the blood that I will bleed I don't know where I belong I'll be waiting at Canal in Bowery. You should be standing. 